dude this video is low-key so long overdue i'm checking my sub count right now i have 563 subscribers it's just the channel has been growing so much and i've been trying to upload more stuff i just haven't really uploaded this video yet what's up guys welcome to the 500 sub q a now thank you first of all for 500 subscribers on this channel i've made youtube videos since 2013 on like a multitude of channels and i started like the eclipse brand in 2016 and i currently have I have, I have five channels that I consistently make videos on and this is the fastest growing one of them so i posted this on the community page and i posted this on twitter instagram asking you guys to give me questions for the 500 sub q a i got some on instagram and i got some on youtube and i'm going to answer them to the best of my ability at the diamond dove on instagram says what's your all-time favorite album that's like a tricky question because i feel like i have a multitude of favorite albums in regards to genre specific specific time specific and time specific i mean personally and the time that the album came out which i feel is over complicating the answer but i feel like it's the best answer for me so i'll tell you my favorite album in the past five years that i listened to so let's go from like pandemic last five years my favorite album that i listened to was frailty by jane remover in my entire life one of the most important albums to me is the incredible true story by logic because that was kind of the album that put me on music and you know learning more about music and learning more about artists that i'm fans of also that album inspired me to make my own music because i thought it was so interesting how he mixed elements of cinema and music together and i really thought it was so cool sorry to over complicate the answer but that's my answer fucking clone on instagram said do you think jpeg mafia is underrated also hazard duty pay beat is one of the best of all time yes i love peggy i just wish his vinyls were a lot cheaper yes i love piggy um last year scaring the hose it was in my top 10 the new song he just dropped don't rely on other men was very good it was the fifth best album that i listened to last year at independence 412 shout out to indy asked thoughts of brat slash are you excited for ultra 85 brat i've been listening to constantly and the rating went from an 88 to a 92 yes i, I even love brat and it just continues to grow on me and it is a very fun listen each time yes i'm excited for ultra 85 my biggest issue with this that logic kind of fumbled the rollout of the album i don't think it's as exciting anymore as it was in February when Fear came out because he basically dropped Fear and dropped the website in one week and then just disappeared then dropped 40 forever and disappeared and then dropped Deja Vu and then disappeared and now apparently nobody knows when he's dropping the record it would have been the best date if he dropped it on march 1st because that's literally 301 noah said on instagram favorite song ever again that's like a f***ing hard question but i could go like the safe bet and say city of stars by logic i talk about that all the time as like the the start of my love for music there's a great story that goes along to that i'm so cringe that's basically the entire story at jane what are you doing here said favorite jane remover song dude this is a hard question can i skip the question dude i don't know jane's work to me is just so outstanding because everything frailty feels the same each song like it, it feels like perfectly together and census feels like perfectly together i can't really decide what my favorite song is like if i go on my phone and i go to frailty and i play one randomly it's either gonna be your clothes buzz cut daisy how to lie if it's census it's gonna be census video or backseat girl i don't know that's hard let's go to youtube because this is uh where i made the original post oh my god dude i'm getting sick dude i had work last night and i got a call asked you if i wanted to come in early i know you don't care about this by the way and i was at work for nine hours and it was like 82 degrees in the store and i have to go in tonight because they're short staffed because some guy quit i accepted it but i woke up this morning and i feel sick as hell so Woohoo! Fripp asked, Dream Collab Album. Uh, again, it's like per genre, like, but I feel like my album that I want now that's like a collab, I think Quadeca and Jane would make just the 
most outstanding record because obviously jane like we've talked about jane so much in this video right quad with everything that he's doing now especially with scrapyard bro you know how unfathomable it is that scrapyard side c these are scraps of scraps and it's better than most of the shit that I listened to this year. So these are songs that he doesn't think is good enough to go on the main record, and it's better. Yeah, and then Jane is obviously just a fucking superstar doing whatever the fuck she wants, and it just sounds good. Georgie asked, this is my friend George, is there a particular album that holds a special place in your heart? If so, why? And share that specific memory. Again, a lot of the records that I listen to have a very important place in my heart. Off the top right now, I could tell you Wolf by Tyler the creator i listened to when i was in washington dc when i went down there because fun fact i've talked about this before i think on this channel in 2019 i went down to washington dc with an organization and i talked to the united states government about gun violence prevention and trying to you know convince them to pass this law about background checks and when i was in washington dc i was like getting into odd future and getting into tyler and i listened to wolf for the first time my pandemic album because everybody has a pandemic album that they listen throughout the entire pandemic was After Hours by Weekend. So I got my driver's license on March 3rd, 2020 on my birthday when I turned 17. An actual week after that, everything closed down. I got super lucky because there was kids who didn't have their license or couldn't even get their license because the DMV was closed. So I would drive around my town and like explore like these areas that I've been but I never really got to like experience while listening to After Hours by Weekend. Uh, in like 2022 I was like in love with this girl. It was the summertime because i was in college freshman in college and it was like the summer between freshman and sophomore year and then i discovered frailty in summer of 2022 because my friend lydia showed me daria core and then an auto played into frailty and i listened to goldfish like three times and i was like i'm not listening to this album and then i listened to like your clothes and i'm like what the f that like really held a special place because you know i listened to buzzcut daisy for the first time and that like perfectly encapsulated what i was feeling about me and that girl also if you want to hear the story about me and that girl i have three albums about it at glacial turtle asks what was the i feel like smosh during lunchtime is smosh what was the culture that made you say culture is for you a formative album show i don't understand this question i'll interpret this as like what makes me find interest in culture i don't know i've always kind of just been into culture and i feel like culture is a very interesting thing i'm jewish i find like the jew culture kind of cringe well I, it's not that it's cringe bro it's that i'm like used to it right like last year me and my friends were like walking around patterson which is like this town it's like low-key like a hood town and then we went to this place that's like palestinian and turkish it was like a bakery and we got like all authentic ass experience because one of my friends that I was with was Arab and it was so interesting and it's like I find that so cool because like I know this stuff from my childhood right the only like culture that I am is like Jewish like I have like Jew culture white culture like my family Loki doesn't do and I find hella cringe like go let's go fishing fishing is cool but like I'm not going f***ing fishing. I like experiencing a bunch of cultures as if I'm like a fly on the wall. So I was in this f***ing bakery with like 50 Turkish guys. A lot of the music that I listen to is by people of the LGBTQ community. I am straight. Sorry to, you know, hurt a lot of you guys because I know a lot of you brothers are f***ing commenting that I'm cute and shit. Thank you, by the way. But when you listen to straight music, it's just like kind of basic and boring. But when you listen to like gay music, it's like they're actually expressing some and saying some shit, and they make it sound good like i find different cultures that i'm not a part of more interesting than the culture that i was like low-key raised with so i guess that's my answer benjamin who is also my friend and bandmate asks is there a song you really don't like or hate on an album you love oh yeah i can just say this one right here scrapyard that fucking one song that's like 30 seconds or like a minute long I hate that song. That's the reason why the Scrapyard rating is so low. If that song was taken off the album, it would go shoop. Favorite Charlie XCX album and song. My favorite Charlie XCX album. Well, now that we've listened to Brat is Brat. But let's just say like before Brat came out, it was probably How I'm Feeling Now was like my favorite one. And my favorite song was february 2017 off charlie georgie asks uh do you ever feel like a plastic bag no how do you pronounce this brother's name at OKTK8CH. bro what's this brother's name is this ben 
Okay, this is Ben. Dude, wh wh whose account is this? Well, that brother asks, any new albums that you are excited about? I mean, yeah, but I can't like think of them out the top. Like, Ultra 85 is like one of them. The new Quadeca. The new Jane that she like announced but didn't announce I'm very excited for. Basically, just artists that I like dropping new That's all I could say. When do you think the man by the name of Frank Ocean will drop? Guesstimate and we'll see if you're close one day. Um, bro, Frank hates his fans, bro. I don't know. I want it to be soon, but he's definitely not going to drop because apparently his ankle still hurts from that Coachella performance. Scuba Diver says, how's it going? It's pretty good. Um, I've been doing good. I've been feeling good. Um, I just feel like now because I'm sick. My money up, channels up, my physical up, my mental up. Alex was left over, asked, this is the final question by the way, worst album you've listened to on the channel so far? Right off the bat, I could tell you one of the worst ones that I listened to is the Amir Van and Merlin Wood collab album. That sh is just so f***ing embarrassing. Every song sounds the same on this record, and every song is so uninteresting. J. Cole might delete later. Please delete now. Like, I swear to f***ing God, it was so AIDS. Insano, one of the worst albums this year. Vultures 1, one of the worst albums this year. Pink Tape is like, it was just mid, bro. Like, it wasn't even, it's bad. Like, who the f*** is listening to Pink Tape today? Yeah, how could I forget this? The DDG album that he released last year. The Zayno Car album that he released last year. That was like two of the first records that I listened to on this channel. But yeah, so... That was all the questions I got, so thank you guys for asking these questions. I'm at 563 right now, and the channel's been doing insanely good. Ever since I uploaded the Twikipedia video, my channel has gained 279 new subscribers, basically in a month and a half, so that's pretty cool. I'ma go right now and eat something, probably. Motherfucker!